is the integrins, which are rece uh, receptors for extracellular matrix. Um, these uh, integrins are transmembrane heterodimeric cell surface receptors, and they were identified initially in an antibody screen in which um, investigators were looking for antibody, monoclonal antibodies that when applied to cells would cause them to lose their ability to attach to extracellular matrix. And those antibodies ultimately allowed the identification of this uh, very important family of um, cell surface proteins. These uh, integrins are uh, critical for adhesion to extracellular matrix as well as transmembrane signaling, and they're concentrated in cells at specific zones called uh, focal adhesions, which are specialized areas of the plasma membrane that are uh, important for adhesion to extracellular matrix. You can see an example of um, one of these uh, focal adhesions by electron microscopy uh, in this image. And what we appreciate is that these areas actually of, of uh, enriched, enriched in integrins where the cells attach to the extracellular matrix are areas where the extracellular environment is really um, aligned and integrated with the intracellular environment, in particular of a cytoskeleton. So these um, receptors actually form a link between the extracellular matrix and the cytoskeleton. And there are a variety of proteins that are present um, clustered with the integrins at these sites, which facilitate the linkage of the integrins on the membrane to the actin cytoskeleton. And although I don't have time to discuss this now, this linkage is actually um, quite critical for the function of the integrins, both in terms of adhesion as well as in terms of, of signaling. So we now know that from studies of integrins that these are signaling receptors, not passive um, adhesion receptors, but really um, active classical receptors that respond to extracellular cues and transmit information bidirectionally across the plasma membrane uh, to regulate both the ability of the cells to adhere as well as um, their ability to migrate, which is of course critical uh, for metastasis in tumors, as well as to proliferate uh, and to survive.